Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Well, let me ask you this. Let's say we all want, uh, right? We need to eat. We need food. Now, if the food availability is low, that means there's not enough food over there, that means that the price for food will increase because we are too many the demand is high and the offer right the supply is low now that works in this situation with oil right now and with na uh, natural gas if russia cuts off turns off its supply let's say for a month who does russia hurt more itself or everybody else well, we have here some geniuses, and these are the guys who uh, really are more interested in the term unity than, uh, you know, um, lifestyle and, uh, you know, enjoying life and having a uh, uh, high standard of living. So, in this case, this is a few Western countries that do not really care if their population is not having enough let's say in this case energy and pays more and everything else goes down because there's going to be unemployment there's going to be other stuff they want to stay united as long as they're united in their poverty that's fantastic they can't be uh, not united but in uh, wealth no that's not that's not an option so let's see what this article tells us about the west's plan to somehow decrease Russia's uh, ability to make money selling its um, oil, natural gas, coal. This article comes from um, Barons. Uh, it's from today, September uh, 7th, 2022. Russia is making a killing selling oil. A new plan my, may finally stop that. Hmm. Okay, so a new plan my stop Russia from making a killing selling oil. Let's hear it. US diplomats have spent months hawking a plan to cap the price on Russian oil cargoes. Last week, they finally won the endorsement of several other big democracies. But much about the plan remains unsettled. Its goal is to cut Russia's energy revenues in order to degrade the Russian military machine, all without hurting global consumers. Doing so will be a tough balancing act. They don't care. <laughs> Particularly as the energy price spike in Europe and globally worsens and the economic outlook weakens and segments. Well, so they say the plan was endorsed Friday by the G7, whose members are Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan, the UK and the US. The European Union participates too and also supported the plan. Those countries can't direct the price of Russian oil on global market. Instead, the cap works by restricting access to the services Russia requires to get oil from its imports to consumers in or in other countries so it the cap works by restricting access to the services russia requires to get oil from its ports to consumers in or in other countries those include insurance shipping bunkering and other associated financial services the g7 especially european countries dominate such services especially shipping insurance in the global tank trade at present, as much as 90% of associated insurance is booked in Europe, primarily through the insurance syndicates of UK-based Lloyds. Most, tanker fly, more, most tankers fly European flags and services such as broking and uh, bunkering are run through Europe. So the plan envisions setting a price in fact, multiple prices for crude oil and associated oil products like diesel and heating oil below which service providers will be able to handle cargoes. 
those that fail to comply theoretically won't be able to access services and thus won't be able to buy Russian oil. Those who directly violate the rules by, for instance, obscuring their cargoes may face as yet undefined sanctions and fines, but also the risk of carrying uninsured of or lightly insured cargoes. Well, the thing is this. Russia said if there is a cap set on our oil, we will not sell it to the Western countries anymore. We're going to divert it to Europe, to uh, Europe, to Asia. Now, what is that all about? Is the exact thing I said at the beginning of the video. That means that Europe will have less of what it needs. But it needs. So it needs. How can you cap it? Uh, and something uh, uh, of another, uh, another method, another way for the Russians to uh, defend themselves from this weasel um, socialist way of doing things is because they don't like the market, uh, you know, um, stabilize and, you know, run itself, which is, uh, you know, supply and demand. They artificially enter and say, no, this is the price, that's it. You don't go uh, above it and that's it. So that's very much, uh, you know, uh, socialism, if you want, in this case. Now, imagine, imagine, imagine for example, Russia, that is in the works of creating the new club, right? With China, India, and other countries. They will start their own insurance companies, like Lloyd, that has 90% of the market, which is a monopoly, isn't it? We're gonna make uh, Boyd, and it's gonna be a Chinese company, insuring, insuring syndicates based Lloyd. So I said, at present, as much as 90% of associated insurance is booked in Europe. Well, they will not buy this insurance. They will form their own and they will not recognize the European issued insurance as the European insurers will not recognize the Russian uh, insur in issued insurances. So what are they going to do about that? And about um, uh, ships, you know, the, the, the cargo, the whoever is going to, the tankers, how do they survive? Let's say Russia said, okay, we're not going to sell it to you guys. Are they going to be go busted? Bankrupt? Because they will not have work. What are they going to do? There's no more oil. Russia doesn't give oil to you. Russia gives to Asia. And if you want to participate, you have to have insurance through our uh, companies. Otherwise, I don't know, go grass, move grass around the planet if you want and put it in your tankers or carry pee, pee or something, you know? So there's many, ma many ways to go around and about it. The thing is, Russia stated, we're gonna turn it off. You're gonna turn it off? What is Europe going to do? How are they gonna balance that? So the, the, the Europeans act, act like Europeans, Western, America, and whatever. They act like this. We want to hurt you, limited, as much as it doesn't really hurt us too much, but we hope it's gonna knock you out. It's like we don't want to go. They don't want to want to say, you know what? No more oil for you, Russia. That's it. They can't do that because they hurt themselves as bad or even worse than they would hurt uh, Russia. They try a little bit, but what if China, uh, China and Russia bring to that a little bit and make it like this big? Then what? How can you turn it back? You know what I mean? So, yeah, we're going to place a cap. And the guy said, you know what? Don't worry. You're not going to have to place cap on anything because you're not going to get any. So, what are you going to do? So, they said, oh, we're going to calculate for this, the G7. And he said, it's going to be like this. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? However they twist it and turn it, the Russians have the bread and the knife. So, they can cut slices to each according to their wishes their wishes it's so unbelievable these guys are just they, they, they i don't know they they think that they they do like the banking system is doing they got uh, the businesses by the boss when it sh actually should be the other way around because a bank exists because of the businesses the businesses do not exist because of the banks it's the other way around it's like a kid is more important than an adult if the adult dies the kid automatically dies now, if the kid dies, the adult doesn't die. 
the same, you know, the organs or body parts, the same way. There are certain things that are very important. A rib is not as important. You can't live without a rib, right? But you can live without a heart. You know what I mean? You can have all those, uh, like, uh, what's his name? Cheney has right now. It's like a Frankenstein with his little thing. I don't think he has a heart or something. I don't know what exactly he's got. Unimportant anyway. It's Cheney. Uh, he uh, is uh, one that uh, should be seen by um, international, uh, how's that, crime tribunal, cr criminal tribunal from Hague. <laughs> he should be visited. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just.